Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, tier list, uh, the tier list video of all the Left 4 Dead 2 campaigns. Uh, we have Camden here. Uh, we're gonna be ranking all the campaigns uh, from godly to great to mid to terrible. Why does it exist? Um, <laughs> and yeah, so first off, dead center. Uh, so uh, it starts off with uh, terrible noises. Yeah, but overall, um, yeah, bl terrible sounds. But overall, I think yeah, Dead like Center, gone. yeah, has a great has a great like concept of like the gun shop and uh, the mall. Uh, I'm gonna say it's great. It's great. Yeah. We got passing. Next up, the passing. This depends. If you're playing on expert and you're us, this would be terrible. Mm -hmm. But if it were the pat, if it were just normal passing, I think it'd either be great. Or the yeah, I mean the whole like sewer thing uh, uh, is kind of mid. Um, the but like I like the, how it like kind of brings like the the uh, Left 4 Dead one characters to the Left 4 Dead two characters. I'm gonna put it in mid. Dark Carnival. Dark Carnival is my favorite of the Left 4 Dead 2 characters. Um, on expert mode, the only terrible thing about Dark Carnival is the tunnel of love and the ending. Yes. Um, it's but, painful, but yeah. That's only if you're like, if it's on expert, because on expert it took us a while. If you're on like any other difficulty, it's not like horrible, but it's mm -hmm. pain. I'm gonna put it in great. Next up, we have Swamp Fever. Uh, we just did this on Expert. Uh, it took us a little while, but we got it done. It was also the fastest uh, that we did. Um, but if we're talking like advanced mode, where it took us like a long time, uh, it was okay. But Swamp Fever, the map overall, the uh, the whole plantation thing, I like. I'm gonna put it in great. Next up, we have Hard Rain. Hard Rain is probably my least favorite. Um, out of uh, right before the parish. Um, Hard Rain is alright, uh, the whole concept of like going to the gas station and then coming back is kind of cool. But the nice mechanic is, is that you're going in one straight line, and then as you're coming back, you've got to go to that take that same path, which means everything from every single safe room, if you didn't take it, it will stay, but it will be crap. If you <laughs> took it, it would be gone. So basically you just got to manage your res manage all the med kits, all the different resources. Yeah. Level because it will come back to bite you if you waste them. Yeah, so we're gonna put it in mid. Next up, we have the parish, the last of the series, uh, minus the little DLC. Um, but anyways, the parish uh, is very interesting. I think it's the longest in my opinion. It uh, takes us through the entirety of like the New Orleans city. Um, the whole the uh, the last level of the campaign is actually kind of cool like the whole concept of like getting across the highway on a bridge <sighs> on a bridge well yeah whatever. uh it's pretty cool so i'm gonna put it in mid because it's just mid cold stream uh cold stream is definitely interesting it's not my favorite it's uh definitely kind of boring it's just like the woods and the stream i'm gonna put it in like terrible why does it exist yeah Next up, uh, we have No Mercy. Um, no Mercy is uh, was probably one of the longest, right? By far, it's uh, like the longest, yeah. One. And uh, the hospital was definitely the worst part, the elevator. But overall, No Mercy has a good map. I like the whole concept of getting to the top of the hospital and getting there. Uh, so I'm going to put it in great. Next up, we have Crash Course. I'm going to let you do that one. All right, Crash Course. This one took us a while to do. Not because it was, like, super hard with it. I mean, it, it, was, it had difficulty to it. Basically, you just you accidentally crash a helicopter, and now you're landed in, like, a suburban, run-down neighborhood, basically, and you're just trying to basically get to a factory where you can get an armored vehicle and then drive off and go to death toll. Mm -hmm. But the final part of it is it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all over the place. yeah. It could be very deadly against like tanks, spitters, and just a hordes of common infected. It's a good one. I mean, it's not like terrible, but it's not great. I'll put it in mid. Sounds good. Yeah. Death toll. Death toll was uh, hell. It was hellaciously <laughs> hellacious. Uh, the um, 
sewer. Let's see. The sewer. There's primarily a, sewer. There's a sewer? At, oh, no, it wasn't primarily sewer. Well, no, I, th there was. But I think the church part sucked when the bell, when the guy in the bell or in the safe room was ringing the bell. And then getting to the uh, to the final part was terrible because we had, like, tanks spawning on us at the beginning. And then Zoe would not help us at all. So I'm going to put it in mid, honestly. Dead Air. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite of the Left Dead 1. Um, it is the, it's cool, the, the concept of the airport. Like, you got to get through and then fuel up <laughs> the plane. I'm tired. We were up to one. Um, uh, getting to that plane, uh, I'm going to put it in great. Next up, we have Blood Harvest. This one was interesting to say the least. Uh, you got to go through the uh, the whole train yard, uh, and you got to get to the uh, very yeah yeah. Um, and then the uh, the little like farmhouse thing was kind of cool. So I mean, I guess I would put it in the head. The last stand. So there are both good things and bad. Ken is leaving. There are both good things and bad things about The Last Stand. Uh, it took me and Camden an hour and a half to beat it. The uh, the last level um, There's only two levels. takes the a long level time. It's not terrible. It's pretty mid, the first level. Yeah, and then the, the second, second part, when you're when you're getting the, uh, the gas cans, you got to go all over the place. And then you just have constant, I mean constant, uh, infected on you is... Like so it sucks, and then you have to survive the two tank finale, which I can't believe how hard it's going to be on expert mode. Oh um, I know. Uh, so it really all just—I mean, do I really have to say anything else? No. Last but not least, the sacrifice. Um, this one was interesting. Obviously, built guys, uh, but the whole. The whole concept of the like the sacrifice is pretty cool. The map was pretty cool, you know. It's not bad. It's not bad, you know. Um, I'm just we're gonna put that one in mid. Yeah. And then we have. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, yeah. Let's just. Oh my god. <laughs> anyways, anyways, that's gonna be our uh rating the campaigns from. Godly to great to mid, the terrible items that exist. Uh, obviously, we had no godly campaigns, but um, uh, if we missed any of them, let us know. And we'll see you in the next one.